Hello boys and girls, got a review for you. This time it's a 2020 Subaru Legacy. This one has 7,500 miles on it, basically new. I'm doing a review for two reasons. Well, number one, because I have it for a few days. Number two, because I'm disappointed. Some of you may know, if you follow my channel, that I own an 06 STI and an 18 Subaru Outback. Now, if, you're, if you've really been following my channel, you'll know that the STI I basically rebuilt. You know, the, the famous cylinder four ringland failure. But we forgive and forget. But going back to the 18 Outback, I also had, I should mention, I also had, of all the cars I've owned, most of them were Subarus. Um, 98 Legacy Wagon, two of those. Uh, 2000 uh, Outback. Is this thing steering for me? It does have the cameras that uh, line you up uh, between the lines if you if you go uh, out the road okay felt like the steering wheel was doing the steering for me anyway so several Subarus and the 18 actually the, the 18 Outback I've been happy with it you know it's quiet uh, I like the transmission the CVT it uh, seems like uh, when it's warmed up it seems like there is it's got gears but we all know it doesn't it's uh, it's belt driven uh, so when you drive, when it's cold, it just goes up uh, RPMs. Uh, keeps depends on the throttle, how much the position of the throttle. It just uh, stays at a certain RPM range, and you accelerate, which is weird. Gives you that, uh, uh, and you're going faster. You know, it's I don't know. Never liked it, but this one, not this one. The 18 Outback. It uh, it actually switches gears, which is nice. I'm gonna do a review on that. I'm getting getting kind of chilly. Uh, yeah, if you look at this console and you're looking at it the first time, you have no idea what's going on. It takes a while to learn how to work it, so I suggest you uh, practice before you start driving. Okay, we're gonna get to this later. So the disappointment, the Outback. I was doing an oil change and I've noticed um, oil, an oil leak from the oil pan. That car has 28,000 miles on it. You know, it's an 18, it's a two year old Subaru. I was gonna say car, it's a Subaru. I mean, it's unheard of, you know, and then a leak from the oil pan at 20,000, it's, shouldn't happen. Number two, probably a bigger concern, but uh, I took it. I took the Outback to the dealer. That's where I'm going to pick it up. Um, when cold, and you go to start it, it makes this kind of a, a, a very faint, kind of like a timing chain rattling noise. Only when cold for the first few seconds. Obviously, the dealer didn't hear anything, so they didn't fix that. But they did fix the oil leak, which was the. The guy, service guy, told me it's the upper pen. I didn't take a closer look when, uh, you know, how it's built and whatnot, but I didn't realize the Subaru engines have uh, an upper and a lower oil pen. I don't know. But we'll take a look uh, later on, next oil change, or maybe the review, uh, what uh, that looks like now. And the engine just uh, stopped, so it's got. Okay, now it started up. Okay, so it's got that option. Lane departure. I know. Also, the Outback at at twenty eight thousand miles, the driver's side window. Uh, when you open and close it, the window, the glass shifts, and I forgot to mention that to the dealer. 
but you know it's not a major concern I can fix it myself if uh, the warranty when the warranty runs out all right so enough of the outback let's, let's talk about this first impression it's nice it's cozy I like uh, the, the way it's all situated over here and I got all the options here you know obviously power seats power windows uh, power mirrors heated seats I just noticed that the re the back side of the hood the edge is vibrating I'm looking at it right now I'm not gonna show you you can trust me on this the hood is actually from the wind is actually doing this a little bit there you go that's uh, that's build quality for you also I'll show you that later how the dash the finish it's just how it's put together it's just waves wave after wave that's the same thing uh, in the Outback too and it's actually a little bit louder than the Outback inside uh, quite a bit of uh, engine noise and road noise you know, it's 2020, come on, we can do a little bit more padding inside the doors, floors, whatever. But, you know, let's let's give it some credit. So, like I said, this is nice. This is, I like this screen setup. Again, you need to do some practice to kind of go through it quickly. You got some information like uh, water temperature, oil temperature, average speed, the outside temperature, all the basics pretty much uh, nowadays. I like the fact that the volume on the steering wheel is on my left hand. Because, you know, if you're doing something here, you know, maybe changing gears, whatever, uh, you know, you wanna be able to have some options, something to do with your left hand, right? So that's that's here. You can change radio stations, answer phone. Uh, it's got Bluetooth. Here behind the steering wheel, we got different options to uh, change info inside your uh, cluster outside temp fm oil uh, air pressures tire clock and all that stuff you can also change what you see on this screen too overall driving it's it's you know it's it's okay it's comfortable the seat is very comfortable actually it's it's, it's almost like a bucket seat I would actually like these in the STI. I like how the steering wheel feels. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's actually on the smaller side, but that's, that's fine with me. It also has the, the blind spot option, and not only you see the lights in the mirrors, but you also see them in your windshield. There is some kind of a, kind of a tiny screen right on, on top of the dash, and right by the windshield and uh, you see the reflections in the windshield are you are you hearing the noise no, this semi truck for example I'm also hearing wind noise that's what I want to talk about too you probably won't hear it but there's wind noise wind coming in right about here or the front, at least the front, I don't know about the back, but the front, it's not sealed up properly, both sides. This is not happening in the Outback, so uh, it's, I don't know, they went cheaper on material or seals are smaller, I have no idea, but uh, it's like, you know, we're back in uh, 95. Yeah, right now, the faster I go, obviously, the louder it gets, but uh, I'm hearing a lot of wind noise over here. Unacceptable. Seriously, it's like driving a Subaru from two th from twenty years ago, or really most most cars from uh, twenty years ago. Is this thing driving on its own? It like feels like. Let's see. I'm going. Oh, there's a car. I correct it. Lane departure. Did you see that? Hey, 
Hands on steering wheel, that's what it's telling me. Okay, it correct. Okay, you got it. There's a car coming. So it's driving. <laughs> oh, man. It's not good. I mean, this option is good. You know, if you're falling asleep, uh, safety-wise, that, that's pretty good. But, you know, and that, that's technology, computers, robots doing things for us, for us humans. And you know what happens? The humans become stupid. You know, when, when the calculator came out, before the calculator came out, people were doing math in their head, you know, and quick too, you know. We had a table, a bunch of numbers, and that's how I knew automatically, up to a hundred at least, uh, how to uh, figure out you know, what's uh, five times eight, nine times nine, whatever. Are people going to become so lazy now that they're going to just quit driving and just uh, try and let the car drive on their own? And they're going to you know what's going to happen, right? I'll tell you. Next guy's going to drive this car, or, the, or you know, an owner of this car is going to drive it. He's going to, oh, you know, this car is driving for me. I'll just relax, sit back, and maybe I'll uh, text or, or watch a video or whatever on YouTube. Some, someone's going to come close and it's, it's going to end up with a crash. I've missed my exit. I like the brakes. I like the the handling of this car. Not going over bumps, but uh, going 50 right now. The brakes they are uh, they are touchy, but not too touchy. They're j just perfect, uh, and there's no delay really, and uh, they catch right away. And you don't need to push in the brake pedal far to do some aggressive braking. All the action happens, you know, the, the usual day-to-day -day braking happens within the, I'd say maybe 20% of the brake pedal. I'm doing 55 and this is the, the noise, it's just killing me. Not the actual noise, the fact that it's there in 2020, that's what's killing me. And it's slow, this is, you know, all the... And a non-turbo uh, Subarus were slow. Actually, let's do some accelerating action. 30, 40, 50, 60. So it's actually, yeah, this uh, transmission, it's actually switching gears. The RPMs, they stay at a certain uh, RPM range, but then you heard probably you probably heard it that it's actually switching. I say switching gears, but it seems like it is, but it's really not. Which is the way of the future. But if you are a, a gearhead like I am, you probably don't like it because it wouldn't sound good. Uh, you know that part where it stays at a certain RPM. Uh, if this car had an exhaust, for example, it's like you see a Honda Civic with this big ass wing in the back and the guy has a cat back or some kind of a muffler and it's an automatic I am actually lost no no I'm not probably pull over somewhere and show you the inside Backup camera. All right, come here. Okay, so steering is no longer elect or uh, hydraulic. It's an electric motor, which you you get you get no feedback if you're running over bumps and what stuff and uh, whatnot and um, doing sharp turns. You feel nothing. So this is what I was talking about. This these buttons over here, they change the info right there. Here you got all the windows are auto, up and down, which is nice. Got your uh, memory on the seat. And the mirrors also change. I don't want to press. But uh, the, the position of the mirrors also are memorized. And you got your uh, trunk release there. Cruise control. Volume here, which is nice. I like that. 
here you can change gears manually if you throw this into actually you don't even have to throw this into manual mode at least that's what's in the Outback 2 and these gears actually I should have showed you these gears switch fast if you're using the the pedals over here this is what it looks in the back like this it's nice black leather is always nice if you ask me you got some uh, vents over here in the back for the passenger I think there's uh, two USB ports and he, oh the rears the rears are heated heated are they yep they are this is also nice you got some USB connections there here you can uh, auxiliary port you can plug it in your phone parking brake big cup holders now let's play with this this is this is a lot a lot to take in your heated mirrors you got the different information you can switch to something else temperature if this gives you updates are where you are then that that's pretty cool weather and stuff okay well not much so I would probably stay on this one you know be cool and monitor your oil temperature and water well water you get there so maybe something else over here instead of water maybe battery volts hmm that's an idea what's this vehicle go oh okay turn off the traction control no idea what that is steering responsive headlights oh yeah these headlights when you go and turn the car on they go sideways they cycle through and they go side to side do their little checkup so that's what what's that driving assistance pre-collision braking okay so it brakes for you it's it's all this this is optional it's all these cameras that's uh, doing all that all the cruise control stuff lane departure and uh, braking all function okay i guess you can limit what it does for you buzzer only okay or no buzzer that's pretty cool you have these options you can turn it off if you don't like it whatever that is I don't know others okay so this follows a car you can choose how close okay that's pretty self-explanatory auto starts okay that I would just turn that off it just I don't know what's this okay so these are the, this is like your iPhone over here this is pretty so okay what's what's this my Subaru oh okay you can make a, an appointment with your dealer or call I that's probably optional I mean you probably may have to pay for this maybe like a month on a monthly basis it's probably for free when you get it for the first maybe year or two I don't know okay Wi-Fi goodbye screen okay anniversary list that may be useful guys yeah that's your Starlink there that's also here call for help SOS here I guess that's the microphone in there somewhere when you're talking over the phone I like these lights these dumb lights they, they just look nice I don't know the color of it it's like tinted and that's it you can do your updates here too let's see what's here okay so I guess when you uh, add you know between you and your wife or your boyfriend you don't need to switch settings uh, all the time when you switch drivers it's just uh, with a push of a button and this is pretty self-explanatory I think I saw cooling seats I may be wrong oh yeah right here or no is it no heater can sync both seats I don't see why you would I feel like the screen changes too quickly on you one two three four five six six seconds that's uh, you know should stay there for at least 10 seconds if you ask me let's see if I'm feeling anything in the seat no I'm not okay so it doesn't have cooling seats it's just uh, temperature well, I don't know why this would be blue okay so when you press this okay so this whole thing 
highlights and you got your climate on the left and only your seat on the right okay I get it uh, a bit confusing over here but it's okay so no cooling seats just heat it and this is what you gotta do go there and then press that this is what I was talking about before you see how this is goes down here goes up and then this plastic is it's got a high spot over here low spot here this is not even I mean this is it's just cheap look at this let's turn this off this is a little storage area for the passenger you have a nice sizable glove box compartment cup holder indoors one here too all right guys so this is it this is my take on this legacy right now in 2020 now if I didn't have the Outback, if I didn't have the oil leak experience and uh, you know that noise from the engine, whatever I was talking about before and I just was let's say introduced first time driving a Subaru, this car I would most likely buy it. It is a nice car, first glance, it is a nice car. Now if you hear everything like me, you know a little bit you're, you're picky and uh, I would hear the wind noise road noise and this build quality the build quality over here eh, you know who cares i actually never mentioned i do have a rattle inside the dash like i can't put my finger on it in the outback and it's starting to annoy me so what i'm trying to get at without me knowing the faults of the outback oil leak <clears throat> the chain uh, timing chain rattle the rattle inside the dash you know the driver's side uh, window if I didn't have knowledge of that I would probably buy this this legacy but as of now no more Subarus for me you know I'm not selling the STI it's not you know that's a whole different car as far as I'm concerned from these these cars nowadays and you know mine is so far from stock it's you know so yeah so buying this now is that a good decision is this going to have an oil leak in 20,000 miles am I going to be going to the dealer back and forth every few months or so because you know they messed up they're using cheap material because that's what it is you know for all the technology we're paying all these computers you know these nice touch screens these sensors whatnot you know they gotta lower the cost somewhere else and we see the results of that so that is it no more Subaru I'm not buying another Subaru I, I don't know when Subaru is gonna realize now their cars are getting worse it may take a while they might as well get even worse from this point on people are going to notice and they're going to stop buying you know back in 08 uh, when we had that uh, crash market all but one car makers lost in sales only one company was up one percent and that was subaru you know and that's your customer loyalty right there the same people that already had subarus kept buying Subarus if those same people will notice these they're gonna get annoyed and they're not gonna buy Subarus anymore so Subaru wake up get your shit straight and address these issues before it gets out of control one other thing I got I forgot these doors you hear that I'm not even slamming the door see if I can do it lighter you hear that that hollow noise let's see what happens if I slam it a bit more you hear that let's see if the passenger door will do that too same thing <laughs> all right guys that is it for this one like dislike comment do me a favor and subscribe right there and I'll see you soon.